I wanted to record a little video this morning. I couldn't really sleep very well, but um, so I just wanted to share, you know, when the church was emerging, they only had about 1% literacy rates. Like today in the times we live, the reason people are so literate is as a product of the industrial revolution like today the amount of people who can read is extraordinary compared to what it was back when the church was first emerging people had to go and listen to the information that they were going to understand because they just didn't know how to read it wasn't even thought of the way that everyone can read today so what that calls to mind for me is because so many people can read is there's so many resources available now listen carefully to what I'm about to say because this is very important they have things like the interlinear bible it's a book and it contains the hebrew words and it contains the greek and then interlinear Bible nowadays, like by J.P. Green, will be coded to Strong's. Now, this is a separate book from the interlinear Bible. It's called the Strong's Concordance. And the Strong's Concordance is a number system for every word that's in the Bible. So your interlinear Bible nowadays will have all those numbers in it above every word like the Hebrew and the Greek. And you can learn these things. You know, I'm not an extremely smart dude. So like in the Hebrew, you have Aleph, Bet, Bet, Gimel, Dalet, Hey, Vav, Zion, Ket, Tet, Yod, Kaf, Kaf, Lamed, Mem, Nun, Samagayan, Pei, Fe, Zadi, Kuf, Resh, Shin, Sin, Tav. And then in the Greek alphabet, you have Alpha, Beta, Gamma, Delta, Epsilon, Zeta, Eta, Theta, Iota, Kappa, Lambda, Mu, Nu, Xi, Omicron, Pi, Rho, Sigma, Ta, Phi, Chi, Psi, Omega. So you can learn it. It's um, It takes a little bit of um, familiarizing with the information, but then it's just like the ABCs. A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I, J, K, L, M, N, O, P, Q, R, S, T, U, V, W, X, Y, Z. So once you learn the Hebrew alphabet and the Greek alphabet, you can actually find your way through like particular lexicons when you're reading particular biblical resources and they'll say words, but they might not have a Strong's number right next to it. So by familiarizing yourself with the alphabets, you can look up those words in your different lexicons. Like maybe you're reading and someone mentions the word migdal. So if you know what the M looks like in the Hebrew, um, it looks kind of like a cursive G. <laughs> That's what I would compare it to. You can look it up in your lexicon because you know where that Hebrew G, or Hebrew M, sorry, is. It looks like a cursive G. But um, so there's just vast amounts of information that you can just get from a Strong's Concordance. Like, look that up, a Strong's Exhaustive Concordance. You can look that up. You can look up the um, the Interlinear Bible by J.P. Green. And you can find just so much useful information. Like, you can actually know where the English translation of the Bible comes from because, for example... The early church did not say church. Church comes from a Greek word, ekklesia. You can see that word in Ecclesiastes in your Bible, Ecclesiastes. But um, Ecclesiastes is a different form of the word ekklesia. Like ekklesia means the called out or an assembly. And Ecclesiastes comes from the word for the caller because it's about the preacher. That's what Ecclesiastes is about. It's well, I wanted to share those thoughts with you, and I hope that you'll have a great rest of your day, and God bless you.